y'all it's your girl lisa and i'm here i'm making this video it's a quick video i told y'all i was gonna try to do more videos to where i come on when something makes my ass itch what? so here we go so i'm scrolling through facebook and just looking at different stuff trying to get topics and trying to figure out what i'm gonna talk about and i come across krishan rock if we don't know who she is She's a little athletic girl. She's a track star, but she's also right now a reality star and very emotional, dating a little rapper called Blueface. Just the norm reality star. I think she's a beautiful little girl. She's funny and she's been through a lot. But I don't want to want to talk about one part. Just one thing. Just one thing. That's all I want to talk about. So I'm scrolling through and her baby bump is popping out and and she's adorable and she's going around and she's naked. Shorts, bikini. She always got a little bra top on because she's not big on the top. So she don't have to wear like, she, you know, she got a, she always got a little stomach poking out, you know, a little bitty booty shorts, whatever, whatever, whoop the whoop. So I scroll through the comments because that's what we do. We run to the comments. And the majority of the comments, I'm going to say from what I saw, there may have been other comments because there were, there were thousands of comments. But for the majority of the comments I saw, I'm going to say 75% of the comments I saw were all bashing and attacking this baby because of what she chooses to wear during her pregnancy. Now, let me start by saying this. She can't get no more pregnant. So her being naked has nothing to do with... If she wants to hold on to her sexuality and feel good during her pregnancy and her way of doing so is wearing little bikini tops, a little bit of shorts, guess what? The baby has the body to do that. And people are on there, well, she needs to cover up. Her top is too little. Her shorts are too little. She shouldn't have her stomach hanging out. Why is she showing that? W what is wrong with her? Uh, uh, continuously bashing her. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody who's never had any kids have been pregnant. The time in which you are pregnant, you feel just down and, and you just, you feel like you don't look good. You feel don't, you don't feel good. You feel like you're fat even if you're not. You're carrying a baby. You're supposed to be chunky. But I can imagine for somebody who's in the public eye, if every time you drop a video or like, like I say, every time you drop a video, I'll go live. Every time you put content out or if somebody else takes a picture of you or a video of you doing something and the comments are constantly negative. Can you imagine what that's doing to somebody who's creating life? Let alone somebody who's, who's an active entertainer who how they look and their brand is everything, especially now when it's not about talent. Most of the time it is about brand and appearance. Imagine if every time you stepped out of your house, somebody had something negative to say. Now let's on top of that, put being pregnant. Now let's on top of that, put all the negative comments. And for everybody out there who's commenting negatively on this little girl, about what she's wearing and how she's handling her pregnancy. What would you do if somebody came and told you, well, you know what? You can't wear that. You don't look good in this. Why do you have that on? What that girl wears has nothing to do with you. If you don't like it, don't look at her. If you don't agree with how she dresses, don't look at her. But you ain't got to come on in and comment. I don't understand where people feel the need to put their opinions out, especially when it's, if you are, if, if, even if it was her family member, even if it was the father of her child, nobody has the right to tell this girl what they feel about what she got on. 
Don't you put it on. If you can't, let me tell you what, I can't wear booty short and bra out in public. If I could, I would. If I was skinny enough to do that, I would. Me and my wife joke all the time about how when I lose the weight or if I lose the weight or whatever, I'm going to be in the beach in a Speedo or a bikini or whatever. <sighs> I'm sitting up here watching this little girl laugh and joke and be happy about bringing a life into this world and, and, and trying to get by the best that she can, especially being up under the scrutiny of public life. Because nobody takes that in consideration. If you put comments in my comment section, nobody's going to put a camera in my face two seconds after me reading your messed up comment. And me have to deal with that situation. I can sit here and marinate in all the bad comments that people want to put on me. And nobody will know. Can you imagine thinking you cute and then going strolling through the comments of the people who watched your video or looked at your picture? Because assuming that the people who watched your video or looked at your picture are somebody who supported you. And all you get is comment after comment about how bad she looks, how tacky she looks, how how disrespectful she is, how disgraceful it is. Every miserable ass person who wrote a bad comment to this little girl is just mad because one, it ain't you. You can't do it. Or two, you can't have her. Because you can't really think that your two cents about her bra top and booty shorts is necessary. You can't really think you're helping. You're not helping. You're, you're, I'm just giving my opinion. I, I, I think it would help. You're not helping. Nobody. Let me tell you, everybody who lie about, I just, I just said it because I want to help. Is lying. Right before I, I saw the video of of Krishan on the on the face of the of the book of the face, I had watched a clip of Karamo and how this young man was berating his girlfriend. She's going through uh, the time they want to have a kid, and she's gaining a little weight because I think the the IVF treatments or whatever. Because you do, you gain weight. She's always been thin and, and beautiful and seen herself in a certain way. And her and her pregnancy journey is taking her down a path that to herself, she doesn't look as good as she used to. And right there is the person that loves her is telling her and making it worse. So I listened to that and how he's unattractive. But because she gained a little weight so she can have his baby, so she can bring his little rug rat in the world, now she's unattractive. No. I, I, so it, it, I was too stunned to speak because I'm sitting up here and I'm listening to people and watching people who don't want nobody telling them what to do. Don't nobody want nobody telling them what to wear or, or how their makeup looks or, or how much weave they should have on or the fact that they, they get up and put a full face makeup on to go to the 7-Eleven. They don't want nobody telling them they shouldn't do that. They don't want anybody telling them they shouldn't wear stockings and a slip when they go out and dress. They don't want nobody telling them they shouldn't do that. But you feel the need to say that this girl... Uh, uh, she shouldn't wear that. She shouldn't wear this. Why? Why? Anybody have been pregnant? You're miserable. You don't want a thousand clothes on. You want to be as naked as possible because the baby is wreaking havoc with you, your hormones, your body, everything. If you could walk around here butt naked and go out and nobody would say nothing, you probably would. 
Pregnancy, while it's, it's a beautiful thing, you're bringing life into the world. It wreaks havoc on the mama's body. It wreaks havoc on the mama's mentality. The mental state. Instead of people wishing her well and encouraging her. Encouragement is be well or whatever. I don't, I can't think of what encouragement right now because my, my brain is stuck on. I really want to cuss and I'm trying to get around cussing so that the video can 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 be for all. Cause I really just want to cuss people out. It's just what I really want to do. And, and, and my voice is excruciatingly small in the grand scheme of things. And Krishan may never see this. Probably won't. And I'm cool with that because this is not just about her. She is just an example of a bigger problem. Leave people alone. If you don't want to wear what they wear, don't put it on. If you don't want to see what they're wearing, don't look at them. If you don't like what they're doing, look at somebody else. Stop commenting on people, especially when you understand when you are doing this and people are commenting because they think it will get to her. They're not commenting just to express their feelings and their thoughts because they think she will see it and they think it will bother her. That is why you comment. It is a, it is the same thing as why you comment good things because you think she'll see it and you think it'll make her smile. That is the only reason you're doing it. You're not trying to help her because you don't know her. I don't know this little girl to help her or not. I'm just using her as an example of somebody trying to live their life and people not liking it because she's not living her life the way you want her to. Who the fuck are y'all? How many bills? How, 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 how many diapers are y'all going to buy her? How much formula? How many wipes are y'all going to send How many, how many light bills you gonna pay? You know what I'm saying? How many people are feeding her right now? How many of y'all are feeding her and making sure she eats? You worry about what the hell she got on? Are you making sure she's eating and getting her vitamins and going to the doctor? Worry about the wrong stuff. It's about to be summertime. If she want to come outside and titty tape and booty floss, that's her business. If you don't like it, look to somebody else. I'm as judgmental as the next person. Make no mistake about it. But I keep my comments to myself, especially if they're negative. When it comes to somebody's, I understand how it is to look down and see your comments and see bullshit. And while she might not see all of them, she'll see enough of them. And while she'll put on this big face, because that's who she is. If y'all pay attention to this little girl, she puts on this big, hard, strong, mean, rough ass face. But pay attention to her when she's in the background of pictures and she thinks nobody's looking at her. When the camera's not focused on her, but she's in the scene. Look at her. You can only hold up a persona of strength for so long before it breaks you. Y'all leave people alone. If you don't like the fact that some young girl pregnant, Rihanna, her, ass, her baby is always out. Her baby, her baby belly is always out. And I am here for that. If you don't like the way these people live their baby lives, then don't look at them. Don't deal with them. Look somewhere else. You know how she is. So if you know how she is before she got pregnant, what y'all thought she was going to turn into a nun? No. When I was pregnant with Nick in the South, it was summer dress. It was sundress. It was not, what's some of the things called? Sundress time. Sun, sun. Is it a sundress? 
I feel I feel slow. But anyway, it was as little close as possible, as little close as possible to flip flops. But see, I didn't have her little body. I had a bigger body. I had a bigger version of her body. So yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't. It wasn't because I didn't want to. And I was thirty-seven, almost forty years old. She is young, beautiful, healthy, and if she wants her baby belly to breathe, then shit, hang out, baby. If you can't look over there and see something beautiful, then look somewhere else where you find beauty. Everybody doesn't see everything in the same way. And if you don't like it, that's cool. That's fine. Look somewhere else where you find something you like. Find your beauty. Leave other people's alone. That's really... The, the 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 moral of this story. I've been cheering on this little girl since she was on American Gladiator and won. I look at her and I see somebody trying to do the best that they can. Is she going to make mistakes? She sure is because that's life. But her dressing the way she wants to dress while she is pregnant, it's not a mistake. It's her choice. And guess what? She has every right to make that. And none of us, no one, not one person on this earth has the right to tell us she doesn't. Just because you have access to social media doesn't give you the right to tear somebody down. Guess what? It's not going to build you up. Tearing down the next person, tearing down another woman, tearing down another black woman. It's not going to build you up. Every time I see a sea of comments of people that look like the person they talk about, I wonder what would happen if the shoe was on their foot. As my grandma used to say, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, baby. Because at the end of the day, everybody wants the same thing. To be happy. Or to be as happy as you can be. Leave that little girl alone. Look in the mirror before you start talking about somebody. If you got to take off so much or add to yourself to make yourself feel better, Think twice before you get in somebody's comment section or in somebody's face talking about what they should or shouldn't do. Before somebody turn around and look at you and ask why you doing what you do. So that's all I had to say. Thank you, girl. Thank you guys so much for listening to my little rant. I guess this is at least little rants. I should have put that on there, but I forgot. But anyway. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that every time I drop a video or uh, DC drops a video, because this is a DC Kool-Aid Lisa production. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Smash that like button. I love you guys. I love you, Mom Squad. I love all the people that's listening. Because you took time out of your day to listen to my love. How many minutes? I don't know how many minutes it is. Many, many minutes. Because you took the time out of your day to give me some of you. And I appreciate that. So this is your girl, Lisa. This is another DC Kool-Aid and Lisa production in the books. Bye, y'all.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC Kool Aid and Lisa doing challenge on your head top. Yeah, you know what's happening when you tune in. Story times, pranks, and vlogging, man. We a great big family, we the bomb squad. We on that grind to a number with a K. Best believe you'll stay. You can chill with the fam like most of y'all do. DC Kool Aid, Lisa, and Nick too. With Charles and Barbie living that YouTube life. We love our fans and supporters, we a family dude. So come on down to Bomb Squad Town. Have a seat watching videos. And nobody likes to hate. Keep it positive and have a nice day. Oh, I forgot. Smash that like button.